What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, DG, from DG Mindset. Welcome back. Now, let's go ahead and touch on something that we've been hearing a lot of here in 2023, self-care slash self-love. What does that even mean? What does it mean? To love yourself. We go and we love everybody else, but we never take time to love ourselves. I will tell you this. There will never be another person more important that you love in your life than you. If you like this page, hit like and hit subscribe because we're gonna dive into how you actually learn to love yourself. Now, most of us, speaking for the Western perspective, never got taught truly how to love ourselves. We got taught how to love our parents, we got taught how to love our siblings, how to love our spouses. Heck, we even got taught how to love our pets. But we never got taught to learn how to love the most important person in this world, which would be our own selves. We need to understand that we will always be whatever we think we are. And if you were ever going to reach your full potential, you had to first love the thing that was going to be the vehicle that was going to help you reach the full potential. Yourself. I tell people all the time, you can never be great at something that you don't love. So how can I ever reach my full potential as a human being if I don't actually love myself? People ask me all the time, what does self-love look like? Keyword, forgiveness. And here's what forgiveness is. Forgiveness means you accept how you are today as the best version of you at the level of awareness that you're at. People always say, oh, well, well, you don't understand. Well, he did this and she did this. And the reality of it is, is that's what happened. Your job is to accept this is what it is. And the same goes for yourself. So not judging yourself, saying, yes, I may have had some transgressions. Maybe I had some traumas that happened in the past. But those don't define who I am. Those were just circumstances. This is a step. This is a stage of you loving yourself. My advice to you would be to first know who you are. Sit down and write all of your fears, all of your insecurities. Uh, Describe yourself. If somebody was looking at you from a third person perspective, how would you describe yourself? Go ahead and paint the picture of who and how you identify with yourself. When we see the quote unquote negative aspects of ourselves, now look at and ask yourself, where did these come from? Why do I view myself as this? Why do I think I'm a loser? Why do I think I'm not, uh, I'll never make enough money? Where did this come from? When you get to the root of that, now you can start working with that. The key to loving yourself is number one, understanding who you are. Number two, owning who you are. And then number three, forgiving, meaning accepting where you are at this present moment on your walk of life. So is this the best version of me right now? Maybe, maybe not. But I know one thing, I have more awareness than I did back then, but I can't look at where I am today and judge that version of me back there. This was the key to you loving yourself, was accepting that that version of you in the past that maybe you weren't most proud of, at that moment, That was the highest level of awareness that you had had. So continuing to understand that life is just moving like a river. And at each point within this river, your job is to accept the flow of the current. And when you can do that, you will be on the stage of loving yourself. So here's the last thing I will tell you. As you go through this transformation of learning how to love yourself, you'll start to see that others will start to come into your life and love you at the same level that you love yourself. So if you wanna have a healthy relationship, whether it's with your boss or with your spouse or your partner or your kids, the first thing you needed to do was love yourself because how you love yourself would be how you loved everyone else. And how you love yourself determines the frequency that you were at that you will attract those type of people in your life. So really, the end all be all is you taking care of yourself. I know we got taught it was selfish, I know we we think that's, oh, well, that's being arrogant and selfish and cocky. You needed to be your own biggest cheerleader. Nobody should have been a bigger cheerleader, cheerleader than you. So when you understand this, the first thing you should do in the morning is affirm yourself. Tell yourself how great you are. Tell yourself how much you appreciate yourself. Tell yourself, I love you. So the first thing I do every morning is I make sure I affirm myself and tell myself, how much I love myself. Not from an arrogant, egoic perspective, but that I'm grateful for where I'm at in life. No matter what it may look like from day to day, no matter what may happen, I start my day off and say I'm grateful, I'm thankful, I'm appreciative at this level of awareness that I'm at. I will do my best to try and raise my awareness, but most importantly, I'm not starting my day from a place of judgment of myself. However you are inwardly will be how you are outwardly. As within, so without. So for me to love you, I had to first love myself. Do you see how this works? So taking time to love yourself, patient with yourself, forgive yourself, and most importantly, accept yourself. This is 
the gateway to you living a life of fulfillment. It started with you loving yourself so you wouldn't need the world to love you first. And that's how you keep a healthy relationship with yourself. So if this video helped you, go ahead and hit like, go ahead and hit subscribe, and wait till the next video as we show you how to be alone.